Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, I'm Jay Banner. I'm with the Jackson School of Geosciences at the University of Texas at Austin, where I do water science and climate science research. I'm testifying on the bill, and I'm uh, representing myself. So in considering House Bill 773, what I'd like to focus on are the drought risks that the state faces. And we can consider these drought risks by looking at the past history and the forward projections. So diagram that I passed out, I'll uh, explain. You could follow along or I'll just, uh, just uh, listen to how I explain it. Either way, it works fine. Um, if we just look at the bottom panel on that page right there, the very bottom panel there, what that does is it shows the history of droughts and the projected future droughts in the southwest United States. If you look at the time axis there on the x-axis, this is the past 1,000 years going backward, and it's also the next 100 years projecting forward. On the y-axis, uh, dry is down, wet is up. So that brown curve that's going along there, those are observations. Those are measurements uh, taken over time. The instrumental record for the 20th century and uh, tree ring, dendrochronology, going back uh, further in the past. What we can see on the observation, that brown curve, right? When things go down, when they go down a lot, that's a really intense drought. And when the trough is wide, that's a really long drought. So let's start off looking at uh, 1950. You can see that brown curve is coming down. It's a little bit obscured. The other variously colored curves, those are model projections going forward into the 21st century. Okay. So one thing, one thing to note here, in the 1950s, there was a six-year drought. You could see a significant measurable drop in that brown curve there. Right? That, that is the drought of record. That's the drought that the state uses in doing its water planning 50 years out to make sure that all Texans have water. Okay? Note the size of that drought. The cost of that drought is $3.5 billion a year for that drought in today's dollars. Now, if we compare that with 2011, much more in our recent memory, more close in our rearview mirror, uh, 2011 was a historical drought. It was longer in intensity. It was higher in intensity, not quite as long as the 1950s drought. That drought cost over $9 billion a year to the state's uh, economy. Okay, now compare that. Go further back in time. Let's go back to the 1100s. Look at that wide trough and that really deep trough, right? That was a drought more intense and longer lasting than anything we've seen in the time we've had instruments. In other words, rain gauges, thermometers, to be able to measure these drought indices, right? That was a longer lived, it was a multi-decadal scale drought that we call a mega drought. It's approximately 50 years long. Prior to any anthropogenic uh, control on the climate system at all. Right, the cost of that drought, we can't calculate that in today's dollars, but we do know that the Anasazi civilization by, the 13, by 1300 was wiped out. It's, it's widely regarded to be caused by that long and intense drought. Now what I want to do is compare all of those droughts in the past as we got increasingly intense as we stepped through them, as they became increasingly more costly. Now I'd like to step forward. And we look at the model projections going forward that's what's shown from uh, 2000 to 2100. You could see that re quite significant drop off in terms of the drought index. That is a mega drought of the likes of which we've never seen before, which is if you flip the paper over, the title of that article is Unprecedented Drought Risk for the Southwest US and Central Plains of the United States. To use the word unprecedented in the scientific literature, that's not hyperbole. Um, that means that we do face very, very significant risks um, in terms of our future, right? So with the du doubling of our population projected for this century, most of the population that's growing going into ur urban areas, the, the demand for water and its impacts will be immense, but the impacts will go far beyond water, right? They're going to deal with agriculture, they're going to deal with industry, how we make and use energy, and also public health. These are very significant and very synergistic challenges that our state faces. House Bill 773 is a small first step for Texas to move forward.